Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 10. This is Problem 10. It says the volume of a right rectangular prism is given by multiplying the length of the base by the width of the base by the height of the prism. If the prism has a volume of 300 cubic feet and a height of 5 feet, what is the area of the base? Now this sounds really complicated. First of all, what in the world is a right rectangular prism? Well, that's a fancy word for it's a block. So it's something that looks like that. Let's try to make that a little more parallel. Um, so they're saying a thing that looks like this. You can calculate the area by multiplying the, what did they give us first, the length of the base times the width of the base. So it doesn't matter which one you call width and length. So let's say that's the width across the front from here to here. The length going this way times the height. That one's more obvious. So what they're saying is the answer when you multiply all that stuff comes out to 300 cubic feet. If you multiply the width times the length times the height, the answer is 300. And the height is 5. And they're saying what is the area of the base? Well, one of the things you have to realize, for us the base is a rectangle. If you look at the shape the base would make, if you kind of pretend you could like look through this. The base and it has is a rectangle. And the area of any rectangle is width times length. So if you go width times length times the height of 5, it comes out to 300. So 5 times the area of the base comes out to 300. Well, what they're saying is 5 times one of these answers is, is 300. Well, 5 times 200 is 1,000. 5 times 400 is 2,000, way too big. We're trying to make it come out to 300. Um, 5 times 30 is 150. Oh, look, 5 times 60 is 300. So if the area of that base is 60, 5 times 60 gives you that total 300 cubic foot volume. So the answer for number 10 is option D, 60 square feet.